Hello, my lovelies. <sighs> Shani here to get comfy and cozy so we could chit chat. In this video, I want to talk about mother and how we as women and busy moms or parents can have other ways to kind of relax and chill that doesn't involve alcohol. Now, a lot of times it's the go-to thing. I remember coming home from work and would just get a glass of whiskey and that was all I needed to unwind and chillax and pretty much start my evening of kind of decompressing from the day's stress so whatever but sometimes alcohol is really not a good option for us some people can get addicted to it I know I did at a certain period of my life where I was very vulnerable it was all too easy to as they say become an alcoholic there's seasons for those kind of vulnerable moments where we feel like we need something to just feel good because life is so shitty you just want to feel good for a little bit and it's so easy to jump on that and start that unhealthy process but for those of us who still we shouldn't feel ashamed or feeling bad for wanting to feel that good I think it's a normal desire for people to want to have that dopamine high or that, you know, feeling of being relaxed and happy. It's like no one should shame someone who ends up going down that road of addiction, no matter what it is, because they were pursuing that happy feeling that whatever it was gave them. We could all fall into that category. Some are stronger than others mentally. Some go through seasons where they're not strong, where they otherwise would be strong. So, for example, when I became an alcoholic for about a year, that was right after my mom died. So my vulnerability was really high during those days. So it was all too easy to be susceptible to that shit. And then, of course, after a year, I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. It's not good. I lost my desire for it. Pretty much woke up one day and I'm like, ew, it sounds nasty just thinking of alcohol. And that kind of ended that period of my life. Probably because it'd been a year or two since my mom died. Things were a little bit easier for me. I was getting back to my healthy, strong mind mindset. But either or, we still shouldn't feel bad or hesitate wanting to just chill. Mentally chill every once in a while and some of us cannot chill with alcohol for various reasons i know some people just sometimes they get angry or like irritable with alcohol it's like a side effect others um you know just they live with an alcoholic so having that temptation there is bad for them you know because it could cause their spouse to start drinking which you don't want because of drama or whatever so then you have to avoid that stuff or for other various reasons that you just can't consume alcohol. So these are natural alternatives to take instead, to research instead, and take into consideration other options. Of course, keep in mind a lot of these things are for research purposes only, and some are illegal in certain states or parts of the world. So keep that in mind. It might be the case for you. But in this video and future videos in general, I'll be using the term research instead of consumption, taking, buying, all that key trigger words that the lovely controlled social media that loves to have control over everything will look for. And what we usually see on the bottles of these kind of products. It's for research purposes only. Yeah, 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 we get it. So. The very first one, of course, is Kratom. When you research Kratom, it really does help relax your mind. It has a bad rep. You know, it has a stigma about it purely based on people's ignorance. Just because you can find it at your, you know, local 7-Eleven or liquor store down the street or market, it gets that bad reputation. But it's not. It's a natural alternative that many people research on the daily but 
even if you're just wanting it in a rare occurrence, just like on the weekend, instead of weekend drinking, do weekend researching. Unwind that way. There's so many different strains. Some that make you energized, some that make you sleepy, some that take away pain. So many benefits that are out there, researched. Uh, I recommend uh, American Kratom Association. It gives you the facts, the science behind it, senators and doctors that support it and back it up. Tons of great stuff about it. So that's one thing to consider in place of liquor or alcohol. It's probably the first one. Because other natural things from there kind of tend to be a little bit stronger. Another option is a nootropics version of things, not necessarily plant-based. Finibute was a period of, you know, is it good for you? Is it bad for you? Is it banned? Is it taken away? Can we sell it? There's so many issues around Finibute. But in general, Finibute is like the alternative to I don't know, um, Xanax or something is what one person said. But it's a legal version of something that will just give you that kind of happy-go-lucky feeling, but also that drive and motivation and energy. Not something you might want for an evening wind down, but something that would be nice when you want to go out with friends. It would, is a healthier you can say healthy, but it's just another alternative to alcohol that is out there. And of course, keep in mind that all of these things that I am, you know, letting you know about could be addicting to many, especially, and it goes back to the beginning of this episode, for a person with addictive personality, the same with alcohol. So it's common sense that anything under the sun can be in a, become an addiction. It depends on who you are as a person. So all of this is based on you. I'm just the messenger telling you what I've learned throughout my researches. You're the one that could take it or leave it or go extreme with it. Another is the Delta family. The Delta family is like a legal version of Mary Jane. So sometimes the THC versions of Mary Jane is illegal in several states across the nation as well as some other countries unless you're in Amsterdam. But the Delta family is less potent, less THC in it. Alternative option, which is also called CBD. It's in the CBD family pretty much, which is all under the Mary Jane family. That's a great replacement as well. There are some that will relax you, some that will energize you, some that are a happy-go-lucky peppy you. It's a good alternative for those kind of things. Some people do good, some people do bad on it. Again, it's all for research purposes only, so you're researching how you're gonna respond to this shit. None of it's FDA approved, so it's common. That's why it's called research purposes, because it's really take it at your own risk. But on that fact, do you know that broccoli isn't FDA approved either? Because you, you consume broccoli at your own risk. Touchy touchy. Careful. Another option is kava, which is kind of similar to kratom. It's a natural plant, a uh, drive plant. It was very popular in the Indonesian indigenous um, communities historically in the past. Same with kratom. But it does that natural relaxing. It helps with anxiety. It helps relax you. It helps give you that chill feeling. So that was definitely one that is used commonly. There's kava bars everywhere. So it's just a well-known alcohol replacement thing that people replace alcohol with that has been known to help, work for them, whatever. Another is enhanced beers or enhanced teas that have natural things in it but it gets fermented as well or that seltzer type the bubbly drinks that people use i've seen some that are combined with caffeine which naturally gives you a little bit of a high right when you drink caffeine or like caffeine shots so they mix it with that they mix it with um some b vitamins they mix it with lemon balm or whatever they mix it with um ashwagandha which is great. It's not super ashwagandha. I was going to mention it on its own, but 
on its own in reality is not really a good replacement, an equal replacement like the others I've mentioned. But if you do it in these um, enhanced beers, they're great. That's why they use ashwagandha in those beers to give that kind of similar effect. Because once you combine it with these other things, it is really beneficial to helping you relax a bit. And there's something else that starts with an L, L something or other, which I'll put here because I'm forgetful and I don't remember. But this also is what they put in it. And it's very a good combination and lastly i've seen them combine magnesium as well which magnesium helps relax people people take magnesium and melatonin together at nighttime to help relax them to sleep so it makes sense that they would mix magnesium in with these enhanced drinks so that being said those are some great alcohol alternatives to consider most of them are natural um, it depends on if you want to be more chill or if you want to be energized and motivated for the evening. So obviously if you want to go out with friends and you can't drink alcohol, you would choose the ones that have like the caffeine, that have the energy inducing properties um, over the ones that are more chill. And so some, you know, the mothers in me, this is what the beginning of this episode is about. Mothers, they want to go out with friends and sometimes they need something other than alcohol when they go out with friends. Or mothers want to relax for the evening. They want to chill. They want to unwind. They want to veg on a, you know, guilty pleasure show. So all of these options are great. All of them I've tried myself at one point or another. And most of them are legal nationwide. Most of them. Or in other countries. So just do your research for all of these research purposes only things that I've just mentioned in this very researched very researched episode so some of us just we need that shit so there's my recommendation i hope it's helpful let me know what you've tried or what other things i didn't mention i'm leaving a lot out but these are my personal favorites um so let me know your thoughts of course liking and subscribing to my channel is very helpful i'm trying to get it back to its former glory of course i'm limited on a lot of things that i could talk about I am considering opening up this for an alternative where I could freely talk about these things without being dinged or banned or muted or whatever. So it, it does serve a purpose for other things other than what it's traditionally known for, believe it or not. So I'm researching that and I will let you know when that is live and ready to go. And I'll have that link here and you'll be the first to know about it. All right, you guys, take care.